Welcome to, to the daily. Welcome to the, the daily fifteen. They, welcome, guys. We are so excited you have joined us today. We are excited. It's a wonderful day. It's a day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen? Amen. All right, so today we are going to be learning about the Holy Spirit, but before we get into it, let's pray. All right, bow your head, close your eyes. Father, thank you, God, that we get to come today and learn more about you and get into your word. Thank you, God, you teach us more about you, and we will be empowered to go out and do what we need to do for the rest of the day. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right, so let's, we learned a new song. Let's sing it. How about that? All right, ready? Let's go. I thank the Lord for the Holy Spirit. I thank you, Lord, for the Holy Spirit. He is my comforter, my helper. On him I do depend. Thank you, Lord, for the Holy Spirit. Let's do it again. All right, so before we do it again, what's this song saying? We're thanking, we're thanking the Lord for the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit, it brings us power love and a sound mind all right and then he's our comforter our helper and on him we do depend all right all right simple enough all right let's do it one more time i thank the lord for the holy spirit i thank you lord for the holy spirit he's my comforter my helper on him i do depend thank you lord Let's do one more song, but read your Bible, pray every day. And so let's do it. It has actions, but we're just, it's talking about we read our Bible and pray every day and we grow, grow, grow. All right, let's go. Read your Bible, pray every day, pray every day, pray every day. Read your Bible, pray every day, and we go, grow, grow, and we grow. If you neglect your Bible, forget to pray, forget to pray, forget to pray. If you neglect your Bible, forget to pray, and you'll shrink, 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 and you'll shrink, 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 and you'll shrink, shrink, shrink. Neglect your Bible, forget to pray, then you'll shrink, shrink, shrink. But get, that's not us, because we read our Bible, pray every day, pray every day, pray every day. We read our Bible, pray every day, let's sing it, and we'll grow, grow, grow. so the people can see you. All right, so the Bible is a true truth. The Bible is a truth. truth. Uh, it's absolute truth. When we open into our Bible, everything it says is truth. It, every story is true. Everything it says is truth. Amen? Say that one more. Say it with us. The, the Bible, Bible is the truth. truth. The Bible is our daily Bread. The Bible is our daily bread. bread. It's our daily bread. And boys, do we eat it naturally? Yum, no. yum, yum. No? no? Oh, what do we do? We what? read it. We read it. We open it up and read it, and it comes inside of us and gr grows us spiritually. Say that. Say it with us, children. The Bible is our daily bread. Amen. The Bible is the sword of the Liam. Say Spirit. The Bible is the sword of the Spirit. The Bible is the sword of the Spirit. And the sword of the Spirit is the Word of God. But we have to have it inside of us. So when we speak it, for example, Ryan, what if someone tells you, oh, you're dumb? What does God say? Yeah. Uh... It, it, in Jeremiah 29, 11, it says, I, 
I, Jeremiah, it says, or Isaiah, one of those, it says, I formed you in your mother's room. So you say, I am not dumb, and it activates in your mouth, and it goes, cuts, down all those lies. So say that one more time. The Bible is the sword of the spirit. The Bible is a trick. The Bible is a light. Light. It shows us the ways to go. <laughs> it shows us the ways to go and what to do and not do. All right. And then the Bible is act up and full of power. power. All right. And then there's children. All right. So um, I'm going to give you 20 seconds to go get your Bible. If you have watched the Daily 15 several times or you're a part of the Oaks and and you're a rising oak, you know that we always bring our Bible when you watch this. So I'll give you about 20 seconds to re go get your Bible. Lion, there are two parts in the Bible. What the is Old Testament and the New Testament. Say, say that with us. The, the Old, Old Testament, Testament and the New, New Testament. Testament. And then there's also the Old Testament is the beginning part, and then there's the New Testament in the back part. And then it, at the beginning, the first four books, they're called the Gospels in the New Testament. The first four books in the New Testament, they're called the Gospels. They're Matthew, Mark, Mark Luke, Luke, John. Matthew, Luke, Mark, Luke, John. Those are the four Gospels. And today, we have been talking, we're going to go, be going into Acts 2. We have been talking a lot about the Holy Spirit. And today, we one of the gifts the Holy Spirit does is when it comes and comes on us, it fills us and we can pray in tongues. Let's pray in tongues for a second. When the Holy Spirit comes, he fills you. And one of the gifts he gives us is praying in tongues. We are going to learn about that today. Specifically, the Holy Spirit and praying in tongues. All right, so we're going to go to the book of Acts. It's right after John, the last gospel in the New Testament. And we're going to Acts 2. And then we're going to start at the very beginning in verse 1. Acts 2, verse 1. Lion, would you like to read the first verse? When the day of Pentecost had come, they were all together in one place. So what's happening? The disciples, Jesus has already gone up to heaven. And what did, did Jesus tell us in John 14, 16? That he said, it's better I go and I'll send you the Holy Spirit. So the, they're still, they believe that. So they're all to, gathered together in one accord and one place. And nobody knows, it doesn't record in the Bible, how long they waited. They could have waited for days. They could have waited for hours. They could have waited for months. It doesn't matter. It, they could have waited for a long time. But anyways, yeah, so when, when the day of Pentecost had come, they were all together in one place. Lion, keep on reading. Then suddenly there came from heaven a noise like a violent rushing wind, and it filled the whole house where they were sitting. Okay. All right. So what's happening right now? The Holy Spirit, God has sent the gift. The whole. Wait. I think we should keep on reading. Let and go one more. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit, begin with the Holy Spirit, and began speak to speak with other tongues. As the Spirit was giving them a trip. So that was first four line. You skipped one more right there. First three. You Five. skipped that one. This. Okay, so um, I'm going to read it real quick. When the, the day of Pentecost had come, they were all together in one place. And suddenly there came from heaven a noise like the violent rushing wind, and it filled the whole house where they were sitting. And there appeared on them tongues of fire distributing themselves, and they rested on each one of them. And they were all filled with this Holy Spirit and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit was giving them Utterance. So what happened? The Holy Spirit come and he came as clovens of fire. There was a fire on each of their heads, not burning them. It was good fire. And then, um, let me stop. And then it came and it came on them, in them. And then what happened? They started speaking in tongues. That speaking in tongues is your power. Some of you may be wondering if you're not filled, you may be wondering what is 
tongues. Now, tongues is God's gift when it comes on you. It's the Holy Spirit, and it comes and it gives you utterance to speak in tongues. For example, like it, it's your strength, it's your power, it's your strength through the day. You may not know what to pray or you're feeling frustrated. If you just start speaking in tongues, you don't have to go around your school. You just go and speak tongues quietly and in yourself and it'll strengthen you that's what speaking in the tongues is. it's your gift if you don't know where to pray if you speak in tongues shut it there it's your own heavenly language that's what speaking in tongues is amen 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 all right so let's pray and then we will be done for today liam come up here all right thank you father for today thank you god that you gave us the holy spirit and the tongues the speaking in tongues, that utterance. So thank you, God, for it. Thank you, God, for that wonderful gift. Thank you, God, that you help us through this week in school and give us more wisdom. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, so we love you, and we'll and see you next.